Hey, I'm back. I wanted to um, take you through my suicidal tendencies collection real quick. I'm really excited about this. This is the original copy of the cassette that I got. Um, I want to say in 88, possibly for the first time. It's really beat up. It's my original copy of the uh, Suicidal Tendencies first album, self-titled with Institutionalized on it and just a ton of great songs. I saw them at um, Riot Fest. They did this whole album. It was amazing. So good. Um, and then I remember I was in Bloomington, Indiana and there was like um, a used like CD shop um, like I think CD Exchange or something. I picked this up like right when it came out, 93. This is when they um, they re-recorded the first album and then they added a couple tracks from the second album and then they had um, they had like a new original on there. Um, but yeah, that's when they got signed by Sony. 93 they came out with that. Now I'm gonna take you through my vinyl um, we're gonna go um, chronologically here. So here's my vinyl copy of the first album. You may have saw that on cassette, but I got it on vinyl. And um, check it out. It's pink. I know it's crazy. Like there's nothing more hardcore than pink vinyl. It just screams, you know, manliness. Um, next up, we got one of my personal favorites. Um, join the Army. Um, a lot of people don't like this album, but I think they took like what they did with the first album and they even ramped it up a little bit more. They got Rocky George, so they started having like shredding leads in there. And um, great, great freaking album. Possessed Escape, War Inside My Head, Join the Army. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check them out. And then next up, we got the full crossover in the thrash. That's right, how I laugh tomorrow when I can't even smile today. I can say um, when I originally got this album, like honestly, like being like, you know, like a hardcore, like metalhead, like punk skateboarder, you know, like this album really meant a lot to me because it got kind of deep with the lyrics and uh, talked about, you know, like emotions and stuff like that. And, uh, as a teenager that really helped me out um, to get through some tough times then they came out with feel like shit deja vu which is a actually a full-length album in their catalog they did um, a bunch of no mercy songs which was a band that mike muir and um and mike clark were in they redid like half the album is is no mercy songs, and then the other half is the um the like search section where they do like um all kinds of good songs. But yeah, I would highly recommend you know this album. Um, next up is the one that like pretty much cemented them as a legend in the music industry. That's right, Suicidal Tendencies, Lights, Camera, Revolution. Um, this album was probably like the biggest like crossover like album of 1990, I would say. Like probably like the biggest selling and like really, uh, really made a difference. I um, actually don't have a copy of Art Rebellion. But I can say it is like one of my favorite albums. Um, unfortunately, I lost my copy of it. And then um, they got just the, the one album after that, you know, um, Suicidal for Life. Pretty decent, but a little lackluster compared to like Art of Rebellion, where they got kind of arty with it. Um, anyway, that's my Suicidal collection. Um, I love Mike Muir, I love the band, they really, um, they really bring it, so I've been a fan for a long time, uh, so I just want to show you what I got, later.